images coming into Cairo 7 right now. This is what wind is doing in Skagit County. Damaged power poles near concrete, even a broken railroad crossing arm that was along State Route 20 in Burlington. Thanks to breaking Skagit for those photos. Now, our team coverage starts with Chief Meteorologist Morgan Palmer watching the wind. And Morgan, some areas are getting hit pretty hard right now. Right, still areas near the water. Also, we've had more wind in the South Sound over the past few hours. We've had numerous gusts over 40 miles an hour around JBLM all the way up through the Tacoma area, especially right on the water. The Narrows Airport at 36 mile an hour winds right now. SeaTac at 30. Here's a look at the pinpoint wind tracker. The wind is going to stay up all night. It might not be as bad in some spots after about 2 to 3 a.m., but still, we'll have problems with power outages all the way into early tomorrow morning. This is 6 a.m., still wind gusts 35, 40 miles an hour, with isolated wind gusts 40 to 50, particularly on the water and on some higher elevations. By 8 a.m., winds are still coming down the strait, and this is going to impact areas of Whidbey Island, even though it says 15 to 25. I expect a burst of winds, possibly 40 to 50, around this area north of Seattle into the 8 o'clock hour, and then things settle down later on. I'm pinpointing finally the end of heavy rain around the area, but the return of the possibility of some low elevation snow coming up. Well, the strong winds are battering trees and power lines. Now thousands of people are in the dark in Snohomish County. And Kyra 7's Jessica O is live right now in Marysville. Jessica, you are seeing gusts so strong, cars are actually pulling over on the side of the road. Monique, some people are jumping off the highway and waiting out that wind in lots like this. Now, I will say that we did notice it getting gustier the further, the further north we went. And take a look at that flagpole because it really is a good indication of how gusty it is out here. Now, that wind is so strong tonight, it may be tough to see, but the pole itself is swinging back and forth. And these high wind gusts contributed to power outages across Snohomish County tonight. Today is windier than usual. There's always a breeze down by the shore in Muckleteo, but the high wind gust Friday night caught Brandon Hessness by surprise. A ton, ton of debris getting kicked up, especially on the beach. I know there's a boat that got beached right down, down the way over here. Check out the white caps on the water as that ferry makes its way to Muckleteo. In parts of Snohomish County, winds clocked in at nearly 70 miles per hour. It's just the bigger gusts pick up and they'll push you over if you're not careful. All across western Washington, unusually strong winds threatened trees and down power lines. Look at how gusty it was near the banks of the Skagit tonight. At one point, 22,000 customers in Snohomish County lost power. On a scale of um, 1 to 10, I was scared about 9.5. We met a Mill Creek family forced to navigate their way through the dark when the power went out. If you want to take a look outside, there's your neighborhood. Nothing. Comple completely dead. James Tassani and his family were just about to have dinner. Here is the stove that was cooking some pizza that we can no longer make. Oh, oh just, here's the rice cooker. So it was going to be rice. You see a little steam? Mm -hmm. Not today. An unexpected inconvenience caused by windy weather. And with strong winds expected to last through Saturday, some folks are left bracing for even more problems. First world problems, we're going to be all right, right, guys? I guess I'm just glad I have an indoor job. And what is concerning officials in this county most tonight is this. Trees, we're told, are especially vulnerable right now because the ground is so saturated. And you can see just how much these uh, branches are whipping around with this gusty weather. And we're told that is what officials will be keeping a very close eye on this weekend throughout Snohomish County. Reporting live in Marysville tonight, I'm Jessica O, Cairo 7 News. And up north near the Skagit River, crews work to save homes before the worst of the rain and wind hits this weekend. They brought in those boulders to keep the water from flooding in Lyman. People in that area remember the floods that swept homes away two years ago, and it makes for scary and uncertain times. The Army Corps of Engineers will be around and on the streets all weekend.